What's going on there, guys? We're back with another one. And we got to talk about this Stephen A. Smith and his stance on Aaron Rodgers and the vaccine, opposed to his stance with Kyrie Irving. And a lot of people are talking about it, saying that the energy wasn't kept the same uh, for Rodgers as it was for Kyrie Irving. And also, you know, people have been saying there's been this duality with Stephen A. Smith when it comes to speaking on similar situations with people of color and you know, white people, right? And, um, you know, Dana White being a prime example and then how he went in, you know, on the Diddy situation. And granted, we've seen the video and it's much more egregious uh, than what Dana White has done. But again, you know, that was behind closed doors and we can deduce that uh, Dana White probably engages in similar activity behind closed doors if he's confident enough to smack a woman out in public like that. So that's one. But getting back to the subject at hand, you know, people were very upset based off this new video that Stephen A. Smith did on his podcast when he was talking about Aaron Rodgers and the vaccine opposed to the way he talked about Kyrie Irving and the way he talked to Jay Williams when they went at, went at it about Kyrie Irving. We're going to look at those clips, actually, and analyze them. Uh, let's peep it. But I've been covering the NBA now for almost 25 years. I mean, this is some of the stupidest nonsense I've ever seen. Just flat out stupid. So let me get this straight. So if the reports are true, because we don't know whether they are or not, okay, but let's give credit to Sham and others who have reported this. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Let's go with that, okay? If it is true, Jay, if it is true, Marcus, so you don't have a problem with taking the vaccine? Your position is that you're going to sit up there and compromise the championship aspirations of an organization you signed on to represent. You coaxed Kevin Durant in the signing on to represent. You coaxed, you played a role in coaxing James Harden into signing on to represent. You're going to compromise all of that because you want to give a voice to the voiceless. Really? And how is that going to work out for you, Kyrie Irving? You're going to disappear from the game of basketball? Who the hell is going to be interested in what you have to say when you have proven that you can't even be trusted enough to do your damn job? A job you volunteered for. This ain't the military where you were drafted. You chose to play basketball. You chose to enter the NBA. You chose to sign that contract as a free agent to go to the Brooklyn Nets. You chose Brooklyn as your destination. You chose the Nets franchise to represent. You asked KD and James Harden to come on board with you in Brooklyn to establish your own legacy, and then you leave them hanging. So those were Stephen A. Smith's initial comments about Kyrie Irving. Now we're going to look at the argument that he got into with Jay Williams. It was very heated. And, you know, J.J. Reddick has said more things uh, direct to Stephen A. Smith. We've never seen Stephen A. Smith get this way with J.J. Uh, uh, Reddick when he even questioned his basketball career and his knowledge of the game. Let's peep it. Daily news? No, but that's we, not gonna happen. We we put a different kind of onus on our athletes than we do, and you made mention of that on your podcast. I, I, I don't deny that. Wait, so first off, I'm not the one. You I know, don't deny the that. I'm being sensitive. I don't deny watching, that. But you're the one that seemed very emotional. Oh right my god. And go, ahead. Matter, Just, Stephen, go ahead, Jay. Come on, man. Go ahead, Jay. Come on, man. Go ahead, Jay. I, I'm, not, I'm not sitting up here on national TV absolving Kyrie Irving of every every decision. I'm not going back and reaccounting every decision. I'm just saying how it's interesting to me. It just carries such a bigger momentum, in particular with you, J J J more J so than anything, J anybody J else. Jay, well, you know what? Well, I would, what? I, what I would ask you is do me a favor. Stop telling us what you find interesting and just tell us what you feel. No, my job you, is you, to be you, you interesting. Say, you say, I find it interesting. You always say that. Say what you're saying. <laughs> what are you saying? What did I just say? What are you saying? It seemed, what am I saying? I just said what I'm saying, Stephen A. Which is, and I'm not allowed to say what I find interesting. Of course you are. But like once again, of you course, I invite you person, on the show to say what's interesting. He thinks you're too preoccupied with Kyrie, too hard on Kyrie. Did I Bridget Bridget Kyrie Irving last week before he demanded a trade? We were talking football. How many times have I mentioned Kyrie Irving over the last few I weeks? I don't seem to I don't seem to be the one being triggered right now. Well, it's I'm always triggered. No, you're not. Oh yes, I am. No, you're not. 
Yes, I am. No, you are not. Okay. I've seen you. No, I no, watch no your problem. show every so, day. So what right, do you, are I we work talking with about you. Kyrie or is this personal? It, it, it seems it, personal. I don't want it to be personal. What seems personal? So. It seems personal for you. For me with Kyrie? Yes. You One of million people, percent. You of all people with all the interest you have got the nerve to sit here in national television and tell me I'm getting personal with a player? I don't lose no sleep. I didn't say you lose I sleep. I don't lose any sleep over Kyrie. I didn't Kyrie say you Irving. lose sleep. I'm, I'm passionate about the subjects I'm passionate about. I don't accuse you of getting personal when you take the position. You have accused me of getting personal. Oh, my God. You have, right. Stephen A. Can, cool. can I go on the court? I'm going to leave it. Can I go on the court real quick? Because I'd like to. Because when we started off. We both got a lot to say. All right, all right. You, you do? Yeah. You do? Okay, Just say guys, it, Jay. Can no, I? Can just I, say I'm it, Jay. I'm not in here for that. I'm not in here for just that. Just say it, Jay. I'm on your show. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. We're all colleagues. We're all teammates. When we started off. See, me personally, I didn't like how Stephen A. got right there with Jay Williams because I don't feel like he got like that with J.J. Reddick. Either time, even when the Kawhi thing came up and J.J. Reddick disrespected him or, you know, when the LeBron thing came up, the cap, you know, anything that they talk about basketball, and he questioned Stephen A.'s career and his knowledge of the game and just pretty much calling him a journalist and an entertainer that don't know nothing about basketball. That would have been the time to go at him, but – Jay Williams was saying something that he, Stephen A. could feel the pressure or he can hear the voice. Whether he say he care or not, he can hear the voices of the black community coming at him. He said so on his podcast. And I think that's why he lashed out at Jay Williams because it hit him in his core a little bit more uh, when he said that. But we're going to continue. We're going to look at what he said about Aaron Rodgers that got people in an uproar. Let's check it out. Whether right or whether wrong. No one can say anything definitively. I took the vaccine. Hell, I encouraged others to do it by doing PSAs and stuff like that. Fair enough. Others that disagreed with me, however, I can't knock them. They have the reasons for having their feelings. Aaron Rodgers is entitled to that. Just like Tucker Carlson is entitled to that. Just like folks like Chris Cuomo and others are entitled to change their minds once they've learned more and more about the facts. Popular podcaster Patrick Bet Davis spoke about these things too. We learn more and more and more as we go on. The one thing that we're able to deduce from all of this and we must peel from all of this is that whether you agree with him or disagree with him, Aaron Rodgers is not stupid, he's not senseless. He's not the insensitive dude that people have excoriated him as being. And at least some of what he says, if not a lot more than some of it, gets attached with enough legitimacy to it that it will make you at least say it's something we need to discuss. We can no longer sit here and act like Every word that comes out of Aaron Rodgers' mouth makes no sense and that he's completely clueless and he don't know what the hell he's talking about. The man ain't stupid. There are people like Joe Rogan and others who've agreed with him and a lot of the things that he has said. Just because we dislike things sometimes don't mean we get to dismiss it as completely false. I don't know. I don't know the answer to these questions. But neither do a lot of people who think differently than Aaron Rodgers. So if we don't know, who are we to say he doesn't know? It's worth listening to. That's all I'm saying. So I think, you know, Stephen A. Smith's softened stance on what Aaron Rodgers had to say, opposed to his stance on Kyrie in the thick of it is what's got people in the uproar. And I'll say this a um, little bit in Stephen A.'s defense. As time has gone on, and we've seen more people, you know, in, in the shot having certain effects on people. People that, I'll say this, people that took it, you know, have perished um, after taking it. And the side effects have been coming from it, you know, ac according to many in the field and many that's in the know. Um, people are starting to have, formulate different opinions around it, right? You got people that took the initial shot but didn't take the boosters and, you know, you got a lot of that type of stuff. But at first, you know, when it was first happening, you were seeing so many people pass. I don't think nobody knows anybody. I mean, I don't think nobody in this world doesn't know somebody who passed from it. You know what I'm saying? So it was so big on a global scale and it was a mess in this country for a while. 
I mean, I, I lost some close family members to it, you know, in the same week. So we, we saw this thing really uh, take some people up out of here. But also, um, the, the quickness and the swiftness that the vaccines came, a lot of people was apprehensive from the beginning. And I commend those people because you don't want to rush into anything and just inject it in your body. And now you just kind of, you feel like a lab rat. Like, is this going to be good for me or is this going to take me out, you know, too? And you have people of that mentality. And, and Kyrie was one of those people. Like, nah, we ain't, we ain't just going to put a throw together vaccine in my body. And so he was saying that. And Aaron Rodgers, I think Aaron Rodgers told the team or he, he said to somebody that he had taken it and he lied about it. Kyrie was straight up with you from the gate. Like, nah, I ain't doing it. And so you can respect that more um, than what Aaron Rodgers did. And so looking at that, man, that's, that's kind of wild um, for Stephen A to have that tape. But again, anybody can um, change their stance on things. But I think what people really want to see is him apologize to Kyrie Irving uh, based off of, off of his comments, more than even they mad at him. Like, if he apologized to him, you'll still have some naysayers out there, but I think if Stephen A. had a conversation with Kyrie, and if Kyrie, Kyrie was willing to have a conversation with Stephen A. and accept the apology, I think that's what most reasonable people want to see, and that's what I'd like to see. You know, you can apologize to the man and say, look, at the time, I thought this, but now... I mean, it don't make you weak that you apologize. Like Stephen A. say, sometimes he'd be the bigger person. And, you know, you being the older person, you can extend that olive branch quicker and kind of show Kyrie, you know, you old enough to be his father so you can extend that olive branch. And he could leave it. Now, if he leave it and you try to apologize, um, it's one thing. But you can go on, on your public platform, since you did it on a pl public platform and said what you said about Kyrie, you can apologize on there, and now he could either receive it or not. But then your hands is clean if you give out a sincere apology, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Peace. Skip tweeted something, and although I disagree with the tweet, uh, and and uh, hopefully uh, Skip would take it down. No, I'm not going to take it down. Skip. 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 Skip.